it, it, coffee's not supposed to have that much of a kick. No, not it's a problem no. if it's at that level. <laughs> and um, how many how many cups have you had this morning? I've had about three or four. Oh, okay. I, I'm a night owl, folks. <laughs> Hello, morning people. I know. Nice to Welcome. meet you for the first time. John Welcome. Elliott here with our first alert forecast. John, I don't drink coffee. Do you not? Uh -uh. It's, oh. it's the most energetic people in our lives, that natural <laughs> energy, that somehow don't drink it. Yeah. Yeah, it's great for your liver, though. Talk to any liver doctor, and he'll tell you. Speaking of medical news, I just that heartbreaking story of that young man. Earlier in the week on Valentine's Day, the American Heart Association was in the building teaching the CBS employees how to do hands-only CPR. So you're not certified. It's nothing with the airway. It's just hands-only. You interlock and stack the hands and then you put them right over the center of the chest. That gives your body leverage to be the beat. And that's their slogan. You find a song like Stayin' Alive, and then that's the beat. Rhythm is important, but saving lives is simple. It's uh, hopefully something we can all learn. And, you know, talk to your kids about it, too. I mean, you're not too young to be thinking about making sure you're in the right place at the you know critical moment right now 28 degrees winds out of the northwest at 16. yesterday what it was 63 for the jersey shore yes <laughs> right after midnight so technically the high was 61 in the city but in the course of the afternoon that wind started to shift we had that rain so we were around 46. Now, we are going to see numbers even cooler, and with more wind, it feels cooler still. So right now, in Middletown, 26, 28 in Rye, 31 in Comac, around five towns, it's 30, 30 for the Jersey Shore as well. Just want to show you, if you look at through the lakes, up into New England, 28 in New York is actually, yeah, feeling more like 15 to 20 degrees. Wind chills in the teens dominate the maps through New England, down into the mid-Atlantic as well. It's not that much warmer, Baltimore, Philly, and D.C. The change from day to day is dramatic. It's 30 degrees colder in the city. But as we look to the west, it's a little warmer in the Motor City, and there is some warm air on the move. All of this will tap into with a subtle shift in the wind and warm air taking over. It's a quick recovery. We're right back in the 50s for your day tomorrow and into President's Day as well. A little bit of uh, activity, uh, Four Corners area down into uh, Texas. Some systems trying to come on board. Uh, as far as weather coast to coast, it's relatively quiet. And locally, our area is under the influence of a, a big area of high pressure. You get a sense of that. It's this gusty northwest wind. But as that high migrates, the winds will shift, and we are going to see warmer numbers and nicer numbers. Got a chance of a shower for Monday afternoon into Tuesday morning, and then it's late Wednesday into Thursday where we see a better chance and more coverage of the rain.